Hello everyone. In this video today I'm going to talk about uh, transmission filters. When should they be changed? Different types of transmission filters. Uh, also I will cover additional information on transmission flushes that I did not cover in my other previous video. Five facts to avoid transmission flush. So additional information will be in this video. So let's start with uh, uh, five different types of transmission filters, different media used. So, for example, there is transmission filters that are regular filters, as something like that, in transmission, or something like that. These are the regular filters. They have different media type. Uh, there are this type of filter, canister type. So this is just the internals of the canister type filters, just like regular engine oil filter that would spin on uh, externally on the top of the transmission or on the side of the transmission. There's only a few cars that have those type of spin-on filters. I have seen in Subarus some, not all of them, and I have seen some Allison, uh, maybe they all of them have, but i seen on Allison uh, transmissions. I'm not sure if the ones that are used by Chevy and Duramax diesel engines. So, and the other ones are in line. In line meaning connects one hose and output to the the next hose, you know, inline filters. Some of those inline filters are being used, not all, but in some Hondas. So, different shape, but same concept, inline filter. Another thing that I forgot to mention, those inline filters, like Honda uses, and there might be some others, I would change them, if it, there is one, I would change them every 10, 15,000, because they're small filters, same concept, but different shape. It's more like a fuel filter. Uh, I would change them more often because they're small filters and they get clogged up pretty fast. And there is one of the reasons why one, just remember, one of the reasons why transmissions on some of the Hondas fail prematurely because of filter gets clogged up, not enough fluids being passed through, and next thing you know, you're starving your transmission of fresh, clean, cooled off fluid because fluids are being cooled through coolers. And if it's not being cooled properly, then you, you know what I mean. You have a chance for the transmission to fail. Also, let me talk. Let me show you the different media. So this is, uh, as you can see, one of the uh, filters that's used. Screen. You can see it's see-through. You know what I mean. This is just a metal screen that filtrates. Uh, only large would not would not allow large size debris to flow through. So basically, the filter itself is is a pickup tube or pickup for a transmission fluid. There is no external tube or anything for the transmission fluid to be picked up by the oil pump in the transmission or transmission pump. So transmission filter works differently than engine filter. In engine filter, uh, engine filter is filtrates oil under high pressure. In transmission, it's opposite. It pulls the oil. So if this type of media is too restrictive and it's not OEM design, you can uh, damage your transmission very quickly because it pulls not enough flow so it gets attached just like that to the transmission and picks up from bottom of the oil pan or transmission pan. And if this media, in this case it's just a screen as you can see through, it's very fine, uh, too restrictive then transmission will not get transmission components will not get enough fluid in order for it to function properly and here is an example i'm going to show you here is another type of uh this is different it's not a screen it's like a fiber similar to the engine oil filter but this is like a more rough fiber more like uh, something similar to house furnace filter. There is different types. There is this rough kind of, and there is much more finer type of media. Not sure if camera can pick it up, but there is a fine media. Very similar to the car's oil filter. And if transmission filter comes factory with this type of media, then you should be using this type of media because it's designed for it. Because in transmission, it does not fluid 
it's not being filtered through high pressure it's opposite it's being pulled from the bottom of the pan through the transmission oil transmission filter so it's being pulled as a vacuum so it's not being forced out through the filter like an engine so it's opposite how it's being done on the engine and if the transmission comes with this type of screen or this type of the filter and you use fiber type something like this what I'm showing you then you're gonna have problems with your transmission you're gonna start transmission from the fluid that it needs so when you use make sure you use the correct one there is different type of filters they're designed differently uh, for different purposes and applications by different car manufacturers also in addition there are filters uh, they all different size and shapes some aftermarket filters don't exactly the same size as factory I have seen uh, on blogs and people write it or even some of the videos on YouTube that they're not the same size so whenever you buy aftermarket just double check and I'm, I'm not a, I'm not against aftermarket and the one you to think that I'm against aftermarket and everything has to be OEM no there's a lot of aftermarket stuff out there that better than OEM that's why aftermarket actually was developed but there is cheap aftermarket that you know it's worse than OEM so it depends which aftermarket we're talking about just make sure double check make sure if it comes with this type of screen or this type of media as a metal screen then you use this type of filter if it comes with this type then use this type if it comes something much more fine media much more smaller uh, size more like a sponge or more like an engine oil filter like something like this then you gotta use that type of filter uh, how often should the filter be changed well I have not seen any in any owner's manuals requirement for changing the filter and the reason for that because if you change the fluid on a regular basis you know most of the cars today they say you're supposed to change the fluid at 100,000 it does not work that way you know fluid has not improved that much unless you're using synthetic fluid then I can see you can go in 100,000 miles between each change but using regular fluid and regular transmission fluid and changing every 100,000 it's gonna wear out transmission pretty fast and it's not gonna shift the way it was when it's new even at 30,000 I have seen it I have seen that uh, at 30,000 it just fluid becomes dirty and and rough on transmission you know transmission shifts very poorly and and so basically I'm sticking to the rule of thumb 30,000 five years maximum unless you're using synthetic fluid synthetic fluid when should the filter be replaced if you change in every 30,000 like I said uh, then or maybe every 50,000 or 60,000 there is no need because those filters are designed to filter out only large size debris they're not designed like a uh, engine oil filters to filter out small microns debris you know they're designed to prevent large chunks of metals being injected back to the to the transmission that will to the solenoids that will cause the transmission to fail and here is the other thing keep in mind if the transmission already has a uh, large debris of chunks it's it's already pretty much 90 percent it's damaged you know what i mean so changing filter or fluid you can extend the life for a little bit longer but it's not worth because it's gonna fail very soon you know it's, it's already damaged enough so that's why they like i said one is supposed to be changed i haven't seen anywhere in any manual for the filters to be changed same thing with these filters they're not designed to filter out very fine small particles or you know what I mean to clean the fluid actually so there is no need to replace them every 30 or 100,000 does it make sense replacing them at 60,000 30,000 I personally would not replace them you know I might replace at 150 maybe 200,000 just to see how bad it is or how good it is you know also some transmissions don't have transmission filters at all 
some of the Hondas I had 89 Accord, I had Civics, I had newer Accords 2005, 98, none of them had transmission filters, not even external ones. Hondas don't, ha don't have any internals and some cars, newer ones have external. Additional information on transmission flashes. Here is a little illustration. This is the flash machine. In my example, engine transmission cooler in front. So when some some uh, transmissions are being flushed using connecting two hoses to the disconnecting from the cooler and connecting to the lines that are coming from the transmission. So when they connect those hoses, they're not they don't know which hose is returned, which one is supplied. So they connect one to one hose to one side, another hose to other side from the machine, flash machine, and start the engine. And in some cases, let's say the blue color is your return. And on a, on a flash machine, and green is your supply line. So when they connect, they don't know which line on the transmission is return, which one is, which one is the supply. So once they start the engine, they realize sometimes that it's opposite. So what do they do? In some cases, depends on the flush machine, they just disconnect hose and reconnect the proper line. In other cases, they just flip the switch and machine works now in, in a direction. So if the blue was line used to be used for to, to extract the fluid, now it's used as a supply line. So on previous car that they used it, you don't know. It, who knows if it's been cleaned or not? More likely, it's, they don't clean those machines. So now you're injecting clean fluid through a hose that's been used to extract dirty fluid. And, is, and also, there will be links to other videos in my description that backs up my statement, you know what I mean? That with the proof of what I'm saying on transmission, I will show you, there will be links you can watch how those transmission uh, flash machine works or, or transmission exchange. And there is another example, like I have said in my other video, you have two hoses, and then you have this YRT connection, and then another, and just the one hose that connects to the transmission directly. So it depends on which machine you're using, depends on which transmission you have. So there is a couple methods that can be used in terms of flash machine. So if you have questions, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.